back from the brink after three days of protest. Some firearms officers agreed to pick up their weapons again, but not all of them. It meant that military backup has been stood down, for now at least. More than 100 officers with the Met's firearms unit, SO19, had refused to carry weapons. A protest at the decision to charge a colleague with murder after he'd shot dead a suspect. Former Met marksman Tony Long was cleared over a previous fatal shooting and understands the latest revolt. I guarantee that every single man and woman in SO19 that has handed in their cards have done so after a massive amount of, self, of soul searching. But the reality is they cannot continue being treated the way that they're treated when they've done exactly what they've been trained to do. The partial climb down came after a promised review of firearms operations by the Home Secretary, a move urged by the Met Commissioner Sir Mark Rowley, who called for better legal protection for gun cops. His force said in a statement, many are worried about how the decision impacts on them, on their colleagues and on their families. They are concerned that it signals a shift in the way the decisions they take in the most challenging circumstances will be judged. Now, it's important when they're using these legal powers uh, that they do so with clarity. That's why the Home Secretary's asked her department to review the guidance that the officers are operating under to make sure that it is robust and that it commands the confidence not just of the officers but of the public as well. The controversy follows the death of Chris Cabber, whose car was followed and boxed in by armed response units in South London a year ago. Mr Cabber was shot once in the head last week an unnamed police officer was charged with his murder. It's not clear what persuaded some to return to firearms duties. Perhaps the promise of a Home Office review, perhaps the Commissioner's stated understanding of their concerns. But officers tell me they don't just want words, they want action too. Not everyone believes the police should be treated differently. What those proposals amount to is a plea for a special status, a privileged and protected status for police officers, which would serve to allow them to avoid even the scrutiny or investigation as suspects right from the outset. The officer's brief withdrawal of weapons was a warning shot. The threat of a repeat is still there. Martin Brunt, Sky News at Scotland Yard.